All right, so not only are lawmakers getting paid during this shutdown, I want you to take a look at this. They're, they're, they're heaven forbid, answering their own phones. They're pushing their own elevator buttons. Can you believe that, what these people are going through? Someone is actually paid to push a button. I thought about that one. Wow, sign me up. So, so what do you think about the whole situation? We hit the streets of New York to find out. If we came to a standstill about what we do every day, we'd probably be fired. Well, aren't they the ones that decided that the federal workers weren't going to get paid and then they still get paid? We don't like how they're doing their job right now, but it is part of their job. So to cut their paycheck and they continue to go to work doesn't really make much sense. If nobody else is getting any money, they shouldn't get any money either. The bottom line is a lot of these uh, congressmen and women are, 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 are putting out photos of themselves answering their own phone and uh, just somehow getting through this. Larry Wingett says it's time for lawmakers to uh, grow a pair, which, by the way, is the name of his runaway best-selling new book. Uh, I tell you, I, I was listening to this and the lament and what they're going through. I, I always learned something new, Larry. The elevator button pusher, I had no idea we had a guy... We paid a guy to do that, uh, but, but we have lots of guys like that. Uh, I don't know if he or she is essential personnel. I do know that two-thirds of the federal workers <laughs> who have had to uh, you know, stay home are, are considered non-essential. What do you make of that? You know, I think those guys would probably think the elevator button pusher is essential to them and their survival. Nobody's going to feel very sorry for these lawmakers. You see, I think what's confusing to them is they think they're actually doing their job. I think they're confused about what their job is. They think their job is to yell and to scream and to be indignant. That's our job, to be indignant about what's going on. They think their job is to point fingers of blame. No, that's our job to point the fingers of blame, and they're all guilty. And they think their job is to stand in front of a microphone on all the different news channels and talk about their opponents instead of talking to their opponents. Their job is to grow a pair and do the hard stuff, not throw the monopoly table upside down and ruin the game for everybody. It's to do the hard stuff, and the hard stuff in this case is to sit down with yeah. people you don't like, don't respect, and don't agree with and figure it out in spite of those things. Well, I was just thinking of the World War II veterans who were just trying to see a memorial in their honor and their definition of hardship, and then these guys answering their own. Think about this. So you're answering, okay... I'm answering it myself. I hope the people back home see this. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. That's a hardship. I mean, but th this is, I guess what they're trying to say is this is their, you know, Hindenburg moment and, and, and the, the, the inhumanity of it all that they have to answer their own polls, that they have to push their own elevator buttons. This is, uh, this is why I always remind both parties, be careful what you wish for uh, because you might regret it. It's coming back to Zoom you here, and, and people are going to start saying, maybe we have too many of you, uh, maybe we have too many coddling you, and, and maybe the problem isn't just the size of the government, but just how many people are part of government. Yeah, and I think what's going to come to bite the, these guys in the butt is come election time, they're going to be reminded who they really work for. Because the American people are the boss here, and we're tired of all this, and now they're just showing us how they feel so put upon by having to answer their own phones and push their own buttons, and we all know how stupid they look doing stuff like that and saying stuff like that. I guess if you're so in a rush, come I, I was review, trying to we'll just that. If you're in a rush, oh, i got to get to the floor, get to the floor. Oh, quick, I got you covered. I'm going to push the buttons. <laughs> anyway, uh, each week we, we, we try to bring the brightest minds around to help answer your retirement questions. Who better than Larry today? You could tweet your questions to Team Cavuto or submit on our website. We'll make sure to try to answer all of them. First up, uh, Larry, is a tweet from Ryan who says, after losing big in my 401k a few years back, any suggestions as we all deal with this uncertainty? Well, there is a lot of uncertainty, and he's uh, smart to understand that, which means don't do anything, anything silly. Don't do anything real risky. Uh, the best thing you can do is control the things that you are in charge of, like your lifestyle and your earning. So earn as much as you can, cut back on your lifestyle as much as you can, and save the difference in a, uh, in a very safe way for right now. All right. Uh, do we have time for the other tweet, guys? I saw it up there. Uh, real quick, can I see you guys? We don't have it because I lost my place. This comes from Jim via Twitter. I retire in 10 years, live in California. What state is most retirement friendly? I would imagine not California, but... What do you think? 
<laughs> there are lots of states that offer pretty good tax advantages. Remember that Nevada and Florida don't have any state income tax, so if you like hot weather and hot weather plus humidity, those are good ones. Georgia offers a $65,000 exemption on your retirement income if you're over the age of 65. Double hmm. that if you're filing jointly. All right. I, I wish I could talk more. I had so much work to do here. Um, <laughs> all right. They're finally meeting, I'm being told. So why are hopes still fleeting? We're going to have the latest. Just hold on a second. We're going to have the final latest on this meeting minutes away.